me tell my chair to face you a little bit. I bought some new shorts, some linen shorts. Um, super impractical because they crease quite easily. But I realised that I only own like one pair of shorts and you guys are like, they're really nice. And I thought, oh, I'll buy another pair in the same style, but linen. Might put the matching blazer on, which I also bought um, just for you guys today. But it is boiling, so we'll see. <laughs> it is really warm today. The key to making the layered ice latte, by the way, is to put the heaviest drink first. So you put the milk down the bottom, so it always stays at the bottom. And then you put the lighter drink at the top, which is obviously the coffee, but you also put the ice in the middle to slow it down so it doesn't like mix straight away. There we go, you learn useful facts every day with me. Um, I just had a shower, so my hair is a little bit wet, but hopefully it will dry. Well, it will definitely dry in the sunshine um, because it's boiling today. Jay Peepers, do you know, come back here. Juno's exploring. One second, let me just check that she hasn't like. Oh no, you're coming back. What are you doing? It's too warm outside for you. Very exciting. If you watched my Instagram stories two days ago, you would have seen that we have tomatoes growing. They're just behind me. Uh, I was going to give up on these um, because I sowed them way too early and they were a bit of effort to look after, but they are still here and we actually have tomatoes growing. Little tiddly things. But for now, oh, oh no! Ah! Can you see that? I've just got coffee all down me. I was gonna say, for now, I will enjoy my coffee, but now, for now, I'm gonna have to get coffee out of my hair. I'll report that later. Is this really what I'm missing work for? <laughs> oh no. Come on, open my broad bean pods and see if there's broad beans inside. This is the moment we're waiting for. Do you say that to all the boys? Ryan, I'm so excited. <laughs> open my broad bean it pods. It feels like, cause last time I- No, was, you- Last time I opened, um, one. Yeah, I don't actually know the best way to open it because I have no nails. Oh my god, you're gonna crush them. Oh. <gasps> oh my goodness! Proper broad beans! That's what I'm having for lunch, so don't. Oh, that one looks a bit sad. Why is it sad? Why is it sad? It's not sad, it's just small. Looks like I a... should have left it for longer. It's like an. Oh, look, that one's tiny. Oh no! That's so <laughs> You know when you buy those advent calendars, like the really cheap ones, and you open them up and they have the really disappointing chocolates inside? That is not what this is like. It's like a summer version. No, I think Oh look, that one's alright. I think this is just called organic gardening, no? Grow your own. Oh look, that one's alright too. Oh, uh, so I just got like a really Did tiny one. Did you get outside? You know what? Um, oh, like that's what you meant. I was going to say, I think you meant you can eat them if they're small. No, I... Bit of fiber. You can't waste things when you're organic garden, eh? Well, I'm gonna get some more and then I'm gonna have them for lunch. That's not, that's really <laughs> furry of choice. Why did you just it's do that? It's not nice. Remember when we went on that day and I, I'd never had an edamame bean before? Yes, I can. That was like our third day. Just ate the whole thing. Yeah. To be fair, they do put the coating on the outside. Yeah. For ragamamas. I went to the toilet, came back and Ryan had eaten loads and I was like, Where's the shells? And I was like, did you just eat the shells? He went, yeah, I didn't realise you can't. You probably can eat no, them, you it's can just not nice. It was alright. I thought these were going to be bigger. That's what they all say. Well, thank you for that. I'm going to make myself some lunch now. Do you want to have you some broad beans? What, you mean three? <laughs> three plates are enough to share? <laughs> I'm going to make some, I'm going to get some more. <laughs> See, great size broad bean. Sad. Sad broad bean. Great size broad bean, sad broad bean. Let's hope there's some more because otherwise that's a very small lunch. So I actually changed what I was gonna do a bit. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, so I've just made lunch of, I fried some uh, courgette with some like chili and garlic, then added the uh, broad beans after I boiled them a little bit, like for a minute or so. Um, pickled some other courgette, all the courgettes grown by the way here and so is the bull beans. Um, added some goat's cheese, um, some mint, some fresh herbs, and voila, I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see that? And that is, that is a very quick, light lunch. Uh, it's very light, I'm aware it's not gonna be that filling, 
But um, I always fancy something quite fresh and light when it's sunny. And then in an hour's time, I'll probably have some chocolate, let's be honest. <laughs> Here's the blazer in case anyone wanted to see it. Um, yeah, I like it. Um, I, I kind of bought it because I like the shorts and I like the blazer together. And whenever I don't buy the whole two piece, I regret it. But now I'm thinking, because it's so hot this summer, I'll probably never wear the blazer jacket. And I don't know if you can see, but it creases quite badly. But I like it anyway, so. Update for the house. Um, our survey has been done. We're just waiting on things to get back to us. Uh, the people that are selling the house got back to us and sent us a lovely message with photos of the garden with the roses in flower and things like that. And the pool is getting like refurbished and some windows are getting replaced that we knew about anyway. So that's really cool. Yeah, so we're just waiting on searches and the survey to get back to us and things should be moving hopefully quickly if it all comes back. But it does feel like, I'm sure you guys feel like that too, it does feel like we are just sitting and waiting. Um, I mean, I'm keeping you all in the loop, so I imagine you guys feel like you're just sitting there and waiting too, and it's dragging on a bit. It has only been a few weeks, but it feels like it's been forever. So, that's, that's the update so far. Um, we're still waiting, but things are happening in the background. And I forgot to say that the suit is from And On Stories. We decided that we were going to take Juno for a little swim because it is way too hot today to um, take her for a walk, like a proper walk. So what we'll do is we'll get her absolutely soaked, uh, we're at the Virginia water, we'll get her absolutely soaked in the lake, take her for a little bit of a walk, like through the shady parts while she's soaking wet to keep her cool um, and then we'll head home. We did this the other day and she's, she was so tired because I think she worked out muscles that she's never worked out before, didn't she Ryan? <laughs> and Juno loved a good swim. Didn't you JP? Yeah, she absolutely loves it. You can't, crazy. you can't see her in the background. But um, yes, yeah, so we're at the Virginia Water. Look how pretty this is with all the flowers. You can't quite see them, but look, look how beautiful those flowers are. So pretty. And Juno is just following Ryan, trying to get the ball out of its hand until we get to water. This is really beautiful and really lovely, but hay fever is killing me a little bit. Ryan doesn't seem to get hay fever. I definitely do. <laughs> Juno's made a new friend. Are you ready? There's her friend. Oh, no, thank you. Here's Juno's friend. <laughs> so we've just come home. That was that was a sweaty walk. <laughs> um, hence the hair going up and I don't think I have any makeup left on. I mean I didn't have lots to start with, but I definitely don't have any makeup on now. Um, Ryan is just about to make dinner, so if you hear any noise, that is what he's doing. Um, but yeah, we had a nice walk. Juno loves a swim, absolutely loves it. Um, and I am going to do the one thing that I've been going on about since, well, for the past month actually, on this YouTube channel. In any video that's just basically featured me in the past month, I've said it multiple times, I am going to be changing the name of the channel. Uh, you guys lo wrote loads and loads and loads of comments um, on one of my videos, giving me ideas of what I should call it. Some people said Grace Mandeville, um, some people said like the Mandeville family or the Mandeville story or the multi-generational Mandeville household and things like that. I'm not going to call it Grace Mandeville, it doesn't feel right, it's still partly Amelia's channel, it's still got videos featuring us on here um, and sometimes it still might feature Amelia in, in it, like on the videos and things like that. So I'm going to call it the Mandevilles. That way I can feature any member of the family that wants to be in content, probably none of them, but there's the option there. I'm also going to be living with lots of members of the Mandeville family and, um, and Amelia can be in content if she wants to, when she wants to, you know, like the odd vlog of mine. The reason it's taken me a while to do this is because 
feels quite sad. Um, I'm gonna be honest, like, you know, we've been working together for years, we built this channel, we built the audience that watches this for years, although some of them have unsubscribed since um, Amelia left the channel. And it feels really sad, you know, like we've done so many amazing things together because of this YouTube channel. She's my sister and I feel like, I feel kind of like by changing the YouTube channel name I'm saying goodbye to that part of our lives together or goodbye to her a little bit. Which obviously isn't true at all, like we, we've actually spent more quality time together since we've decided to like part from working together than ever before. So it's not that at all, it just feels like I'm saying goodbye to her for good, you know? I'm saying goodbye to the man of the sister's channel for good and yeah it's just a bit scary but at the same time it doesn't make sense to continue calling this channel that it's a different channel now you know Amelia hasn't been featured in videos for ages in fact I actually went back looking for all our old videos and she's actually only been in three YouTube videos since October so it's been a long time coming I think this whole transition and so I am currently going to change the name now in front of you guys and I am uh, very worried. I don't think I can change the Earl at the same time but I am calling the channel The Mandevilles and I'm saying goodbye to the Mandeville sisters. So here we go. Eek! Eek! Hopefully when you watch the video it would have changed for you guys too but who knows and it is done. And I feel quite sad. And, and it's done. <sighs> well, there we go. I don't know how I thought I'd feel, but I feel a lot sadder than I thought I'd feel as well. Um, by the way, I have asked Amelia um, and told her about the change. She's not just like gonna wake up in the morning and see it's changed. We have had these conversations. Um, weird, but you know, it's every brand goes through a rebrand or changes things. And this is just one of those little things. Um, please don't unsubscribe now I've done this. Please don't. Um, and I guess that you could say this is a start officially a new fresh start for this YouTube channel. Share it with people please, um, press that thumbs up, um, tell me that you're, you're okay with this and it's gonna be okay. Um, but I am gonna miss, I am gonna miss the Mandeville sisters too. Um, but it's not the end of it really and there's plenty of videos to look through. Thanks very much for watching guys. Um, and I'll see you next week.